Though used as a medium to convey multiple ideas, it remains a staple of media to this day. An appropriate use of gore as a tool can be moving, but improper use can seem to fall flat. Left 4 Dead, released in 2008, uses gore particularly well. Using Valve's proprietary source engine, zombies look, feel, and most importantly die in a believable way. Melee weapons are no exception. A slice from a katana will eviscerate an attacking foe with relative ease. It gets its message across while simultaneously staying grounded in reality. On the other side of the coin we have firearms. A suppressed pistol will poke holes in a mob of charging undead. A well-placed spread of buckshot will devastate, sending sprays of viscera into the air and even sometimes on the player. Similarly, the second entry in Rockstar Games' Red Dead Redemption series displays the gruesome fragility of life in a rather realistic way. Rockstar makes use of their in-house Euphoria physics systems, which when in use, make quite a convincing display of weighty, grounded carnage. Euphoria uses a unique, on-the-fly animation style which mimics amputations and decapitations with realistic, true-to-life displays. A gunshot wounds the knee will not simply kill, but will send the victim into a stumble and a fall. In another case, a wound to an artery in the neck does not dispatch the victim immediately, but will cause him to hobble into a crescendo of blood loss and eventually death. On the other end of the spectrum sits Serious Sam, a title known for its unapologetic and often gratuitous use of violence. While the game has a more jovial demeanor about its use of gore, akin to Duke Nukem and other similar franchises, it could almost seem to be too much at times. And by no means does it constitute a bad game, but it does affect the satisfaction level of gameplay. Most attacks you dish out almost completely disintegrate the opposition with a dramatic splash of bright red blood in its wake. We all bleed but it takes a skilled team to make something so inherently heinous oddly beautiful. From the rage-filled head stomps of Doom to the well-placed sniper shots of Call of Duty, gore always seems to crop up one way or another. 